joins me now. Alex, this poll carried out before the official confirmation that we're in this double dip recession. Now that we know it for certain, will that affect the way that Boris Johnson's election campaign plays out? Well, that's a very good question because there's no doubt that the government is being blamed for this recession because, of course, of their austerity measures, and that could in turn affect Boris Johnson. Now, earlier in the week, there was another poll that was carried out, and he was only two points ahead of Ken Livingstone. Now, many people saw that was because of what had happened with the Chancellor's budget, which has been, quite frankly, a bit of a mess. We've had the granny tax, etc. And that did seem to have an impact on Boris. He has since uh, bounced back from that, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a knock-on effect from the fact that we are now in a double-dip recession. All right, uh, one more piece of election news. Away from the campaign trail, allegations of election fraud. Yes, that's right. All this centres on Tower Hamlets. Scotland Yard has been asked by the election watchdog, the Electoral Commission, to investigate evidence of voter fraud. Now, that is ahead of the elections next week. Six Labour councillors in the borough wrote to the Commission they were warning of what they call serious abuses of the electoral register, and they are thought to involve the creation of bogus voters who were casting postal votes. Now, Tower Hamlets has sent us a statement. They said they use the full extent of our powers to ensure that the electoral register is as accurate as possible and that they take this accusation very seriously. All right, Alex Forrest, thank you very much indeed.